We're going to go fishing. All right, YouTube, we are back at the pond. And I've got a spinner bait on this bait caster. This is a quantum octane bait caster and a Shakespeare excursion rod. And I'm just going to be casting around for some bass. Let me show you the bait that we're working with. I believe it's called H and H spinner bait. Yeah, H and H. And it's chartreuse and kind of a watermelon green color. switched out to a drop shot rig and I've got a small egg sinker weight and then a size 4 true turn hook with an African night crawler on there. And my worm just flew off. Okay, we got something on. We got two bites. I think our worm got stolen. Yeah, our worm got stolen. We got two bites and I missed it. All right, I just got my worm stolen right here in front of us. I'm gonna cast it back out there and try not to miss this fish this time. There we go. It's a bass. All right. Nice fish. On the true turn hook. Nice little bass. Get him back in there. So here's an example of one of our African night crawlers. I feed these guys cow manure from my two cows. They love it. As you can see, it's a real long worm. And it's kind of hard to tell, uh, but they move really fast. I don't know if you can see how fast his head's moving around there. But anyways... We just got a pretty decent bass for this pond. Let's try for another one. And I'm just going to kind of hook it through the worm three or four times and then let some of the worm dangle off like that. Cast it into the same spot. Try a little farther down the bank there. Ooh. 
Ooh, I think I missed that bite. That was definitely another bass hit. I think my worm got stolen. It sure did. All right, I've got a fresh worm on here and we're gonna go right back in the same spot my worm just got stolen. There, it was a quick bite. Don't tell me they stole it again that fast. They stole it again that fast. All right, I doubt this is gonna come through on the camera, but this is the most purple worm I've ever seen. It's literally purple. That is crazy. So on this one, I'm gonna go into the worm's body and then try to thread the worm up onto the uh, hook as good as I can. And then I'm gonna go through the tail of the worm a couple times too. I'm gonna put it right back out there where I've had two worms in a row, row two worms in a row stolen on two consecutive casts. Yeah, there's the bite, okay. We got him. We got him. Bluegill. Just that quick, he got that worm. Just that fast. These guys are great at stealing your bait. Pretty fish. We'll get him back in there. Cast off into the same area here. Oh, I missed another bite. I believe my worm is gone. These guys are so fast. All right, let's try again. Get them. Man, these guys are good. They got me again. Oh, you can see the fish one here. Even better. Cast it over there. There we go. Ooh, nice bass. Stop fighting. All right. Nice bass. This is one of the bigger bass I've caught in this pond. It's good to know that they're possibly growing. Let's get the line over here. Good looking fish. It's about as big as they get in this pond. Get him back in there. They're loving that cricket, huh? Nice bluegill. My son just caught on a gulp cricket and I don't see that cricket, so he ate it. Nice job, dude. Yeah. And my bait was stolen. We go sideways. All right, let's get another one. This time I put the hook all the way through the worm. So if the fish grabs the worm, the fish is grabbing the hook, no exceptions. I missed a bite, but I still should have worm on there. So he pulled it down quite a bit, whatever kind of fish that was. But as you can see, 
I've got the worm all the way through the hook. Oh, there we go. Wow. Big, nice bluegill. Nice size fish on the gulp alive worm. Lots of orange in this guy. Holy cow. Good looking little fish there. Get him back in. That is awesome. All right, well, that's going to do it for our little trip to the pond. Got some nice bass and bluegill today. It was pretty easy fishing. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.